Hello friends and welcome to Tabletop Tonight. My name is Ruel Gaviola and this is my lovely wife and my co-host Michelle. Hello. Uh, thanks for joining us tonight. Um, we're excited because it is Taco Tuesday. Uh, here's a sign. I should have had that ready. Uh, Taco <laughs> Tuesday. Um, actually this morning I hosted a Taco Tuesday where I just hung out, chatted with y'all and um, talked about games and, and more. Um, it's usually Tatooine Tuesday here in the morning but um, I wasn't able to uh, get that going uh, in time, so I just wanted to chill, try, try something different, and we're going to continue Taco Tuesday tonight. Um, we actually had tacos for the first time in a while on a Tuesday. Yes. So good. I, I mean, we, we, we have a spot that we go to, and um, I still I feel like it's still a prime spot for our tacos in this area. Oh, for sure. They're the little street tacos, or... They're like, what, a dollar and some change? Or yeah. they go up in price? It's <laughs> they, been a while since we've been there. Yeah, they actually went up in price. So, <gasps> yeah. Uh, normally now, the regular price is $1.49. dollar forty nine, and then on, Yeah. And then on Taco Tuesdays, they're now $1.09. Oh. But it's actually a, a nine on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. So they do Taco Tuesday and Wednesday. But if you remember, many, many years ago, when we were actually dating, we'd go to this place uh, nearby, and the tacos on Tuesdays were 50 cents it was redonkulous yeah remember that i get 10 tacos they're like street style tacos 10 for five bucks and i was like oh my gosh and it went to 60 cents then 70 cents then 80 and the last time we went it might have been like 85 cents or something but now it's a dollar nine but still can't complain for right yeah right. for 10 bucks for 10 tacos really good in street style so you got the fresh you know corn tortillas um, the freshly made, you know, meats. Uh, we usually go with the, you go with... Um, I love their carne asada. Yeah, and I love the pollo. Uh, so we do chicken, beef, and then um, I always get a side of rice. I mean, it's it's the Filipino me. I need the rice uh, with the meal. <laughs> Even if it's Spanish rice. <laughs> Even if it's Spanish rice. Uh, but, you know, I really like it. Uh, it's, you know, you can tell them what you want on it. It's just very simple, you know, uh, cilantro, onions, and then either a green or red. We prefer the green, I think sauce yeah 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 i think yeah that's what you got on, on yours this time yeah yeah I, yeah if i have a choice i will take the green yeah and it's it's funny because i used to be a red sauce only fan but as you know my taste changed i guess um i, I like i prefer the green now um let's, i am team green sauce yeah totally let's let's catch up on chat real quick here i uh, want to shout out everyone thank you again for joining us uh let's see who's in chat Amanda was asking how you were doing. Oh, you. you. I answered. Okay, cool. Yeah. Dead fans in the house. Hi, Ben. Ben's here. James is here. Thanks for joining us again, Jay. James. Excuse me. Uh, Dead pans in the house. Gold Seal Games is in the house. Yeah. Um, talking fish about fish tacos. tacos. Yeah, we love the fish tacos too. Uh, Y'all looking stylish tonight. Oh, thanks. Um, Dead pan. Uh, Gold Seal Games. Panda Angel is our chat moderator. Uh, now I want some pastel. Oh yeah. <laughs> ben says 50 cents how long ago was that someone things were in black and white <laughs> <laughs> it was a while ago uh, oh my gosh yeah when was the last time we actually went there for tacos it's been at least a year i know we didn't go during the pandemic i mean still the pandemic obviously still going but last year we did not go the last time we had like street well i mean i know we went to another like a didn't we go to a taco truck recently or not recently but yeah since, yeah and there are you talking about um not chronic tacos but the no. place that had like the green shells oh um, like the little truck yeah what is that truck called i, I don't know it's yeah. not chronic tacos not chronic, <laughs> chronic tacos i've had chronic tacos before you know i'm not a fan uh, <laughs> let's see um ben hello yeah, yeah now i want some pastor oh. my favorite al pastor is uh, Gosh, what is that place near UCLA? Not UCLA, but West West LA. There was that one, this, like the outdoor taco trucks, and they like full on had a like places to sit, and yeah. and there was like no parking. Leo's. Leo's, Leo's in LA. They have I think three locations: West LA, um, somewhere was it near Pasadena or something? I forget. Or maybe like um, we've only been to the West LA one, right? Yeah, but I know they have another one. Uh, no, no, I'm thinking of. Um, Tacos Mariscos, the, the seafood one. Uh, I'm mixing you're up all my drunk tacos. Drunk off of your tacos. Yeah, Leo's though. I know they have uh, two locations in LA, but we went to the West LA one. Oh, the best Al Pastor north of the border. I like. I feel like that's even better than um, the place we like in Vegas. Oh, 
No. Yeah. Vegas is good. Leo's, I've got to give it up. Oh. Like, I've had the Alpest order in, in Mexico. And, I mean, it's this well, one. Leo's yeah. is pretty close. Leo's is really... And, I mean, the place in Vegas is close, too, but... What is that place called? Um... Gosh. Every time we go to Vegas, we have to go to this place. Yeah. And it's, uh, it's not even a mom and pop joint. It's a yeah. um, it's a chain. Yeah, it's it started as a mom and pop down in um, Baja California, and then when they come it came up north to Vegas, you know they they franchise out. God, what is it? Um, I, I totally spaced it on the name. Marlon, are you there? I know Marlon knows. <laughs> Daryl knows. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, pastor is definitely like my favorite type of taco when Same. it's done right. When it's done mm-hmm. right, like with the pie, you have to have the pineapple, and then oh, so good, and like the place that we go to, you know, any any place worth its salt. If you're going to get al pastor, either south of the border or in California, Southern California, you have to have a guy with a machete. You know, they got to be carving it with that big old knife. You know, it's, it looks dangerous, but that's for some reason it just tastes better. That maybe it's the taste of danger. <laughs> Yes, that's what it is. Absolutely. I might have one of those danger street tacos, please. Yeah. A gold Silver <laughs> Games wants tacos now. Uh, no for a frito. Oh, B Mash. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Also, we're working on a game called. Wait, what? You're working on a game called Taco. Oh, yeah. So, Gold Seal Games, folks, I what? want to thank them for sending over the copy of what we're going to play tonight Kohaku. Uh, this game is. Uh, it was released, I believe, this year. And Gold Seal Games, uh, you'll be able to answer any questions, hopefully, in, in, in chat. But they're working. I remember seeing on the website, they're talking uh, perf, uh, Taco Perfecto, is it? Yeah. What? I don't know. I, yeah, I'm, I'm excited. Just the taco got me right there. Uh, beans on tacos is not the authentic. Uh, Atomic Jukebox, hello. Thanks for joining us. Uh, start of WandaVision. Oh, start of WandaVision, yes. Uh, that, that's how old we are, yeah. It's like... It's, Dick Van, Dick Van Dyke <laughs> slash I Love Lucy. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. No. Cards and dice. Yeah, beans on the side, not inside. Absolutely. When you throw beans, it's just, yeah, it's a side to the tacos, right? Uh, 21st Century Games. Al Pastor are my favorite. So hard to find good ones here in Atlanta. Yeah. I know the ATL's got some really good, um, I, you know, we have not, that's one place I'd like to go post-pandemic. I want to go visit the ATL. Because I know they have like a tremendous food scene out there. Like we plan all our vacations around food. Um, <laughs> let, let's not let's not uh, lie here. Um, the la- yeah, it's <laughs> true. <right? laughs> Last time we went to the Philippines, what did we do? We found all the places to eat, right? Well, all the when we went to Cebu, we <laughs> so we went on this quest to to find the best lechon. So that's you know roast pig. And yeah. we went to quite a few places. I'm surprised we didn't get like sick of it. But I know. it was um well it's just cause like each little place kind of put their own had their own take on yeah. the lechon. Yeah. And the one that I like the best now I don't remember the name. But it's the Zuba one that, Lechon. Yeah, yeah. That's the one that Anthony Bourdain. Yeah, rest in peace, yeah. Anthony. Yeah. yeah, he like he pretty much gave them their start. Yeah. They and, pretty much put them on the map. Yeah. Yeah, oh, so, so oh, the best pig like <laughs> oh. Bourdain actually said it, best pig ever. It, it really was like Sabu. They're just known for that area. Of the Philippines is known for their lechon, their roast pig, and I think we tried four or five different places. <laughs> it's ridiculous how much pig we ate. Um, but yeah, the one that uh, Bourdain had to help in um, like getting them on the map. That one was just it was different, and it's like oh, like the skin on each one was just perfectly crisp. The pork was moist, and uh, you know what I liked? I liked the one, um, I think it was C&T, where the, it was like sort of spicy. They had put spices in it. Oh, folks, okay, now I, I, want, now I want lechon. Okay, uh, Al Pastor, yeah, uh, Leo's Taco Truck. Yes, thank you, uh, Amanda. That is our, yep, Leo's is it. So yum. Tacos El Gordo. Thank you, Atomic That's Jukebox. That's it. The Gordo, yes. yeah. We always hit that place up. I might have been to the... Well, the one in in, uh, in Mexico one oh. oh Mexico one time many many moons ago that time that was probably in black and white yeah but <laughs> <laughs> that that those pastor tacos are just mm. off the hook um, they do it right you know they have the little uh, pineapple you got to have the pineapple there uh, we have a taco truck that sells tacos at dollar fifty they are so good but you need a bulletproof vest to go I just Uber eat it <laughs> yeah you know some you know certain places. 
some of the best food that you'll ever have are in neighborhoods that may not be the safest. So, I mean, please be safe out there, folks. I mean, don't don't risk yourself. Well, I'm not going to say don't risk your life for a good taco, but I'm going to say be careful when you're doing that. Well, see, I don't. I think we've mentioned this before. You know, with the whole pandemic, you yeah. need to have food trucks go around the neighborhoods. Yeah. And, you know, just play the music, like, you know, yeah. like the ice cream truck. Yeah. Well, I'll come running. Oh, yeah. yeah. I promise. If there was a taco truck in this area, I would run. I would, like, you know, get out of the way, kids. I'm going to some taco <laughs> truck, just like in that, that movie Friday. Like, get out of the way. Um, taco trucks, yeah. We, we might have, maybe they don't do it because there would probably be a riot if one, if a taco truck was running. Well, you know, I mean, if they come to you, you don't have to, like, yeah. you know, like, Try to beat the crowds because the main lobster true. truck was here. Uh, I guess they're around the neighborhood. Oh and, yeah. Like my friends tell me, and then we went one time, and I was like, "No, there's too many people here. I'm way too hungry. I'm yeah. angry now." So. Yeah. And and we liked we'd had their <clears throat> I think it was called Brothers Main Lobsters Truck or something where mm-hmm. it was like lobster rolls uh, sandwiches and yeah like po' boys yeah they're really good but again I'm not gonna wait for a truck for like an hour I mean come on. See, Cards and Dices says food trucks around the neighborhood could be the modern ice cream truck. Absolutely. Exactly. Oh, Gold Seal Games says it comes in a taco pouch, not a box. That's all you Oh, what is that? A taco pouch doesn't sound right. Uh, but yes, uh, come visit us. Uh, they picture a pita. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Dead Pet says Robin's Burger has a Taco Bell game. Really? I didn't know that. Is it any good? What? Yeah. Uh, Chad, hi. And I can show you. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. I, we would love to. We, we, we will take you up on that. Again, we love food touring. We love hosting people. Well, again, pre-pandemic, Michelle and I used to do this thing. And I really, this is the thing I really want to do. This might be the first thing I want to do after everything's safe. I want to take our friends on a food tour to L.A. Take yeah. the train. We're, we're here in the Inland Empire in L.A. We're about an hour east. So we take the train in. And then we stop off in Union Station and hop on another, I think it's the red line. We jump on the different lines. Gold line goes to Chinatown. Red line goes to um, Little Tokyo. And other parts, and we we just take our friends different places to eat. Olvera Street's right there. Mm-hmm. We have you know breakfast burritos. Then we oh actually the breakfast burrito you know we did last time, Allen B's in uh, Boyle Heights, best yes. bean burrito in the world. Oh my gosh, uh, I don't know if the Booker Nerds is here. He can confirm those bean burritos at um, Allen B's are amazing. <laughs> Ruel's Diners and Dives. <laughs> <laughs> But we, we would take the train out. So here's the cool thing. We would take the train out. So it's about an hour from um, our home to uh, downtown L.A. And on the way to the train there, you can play. Like we take the little t- um, seats with the tables. So we could play like little card games, you know. So at one time we, we took our phones or the app. Or I mean not that, the tablet. And we would play Ticket to Ride on the train. Like right? pretty, pretty apropos. <laughs> um, but yeah, a, a food slash gaming uh, train trip. Oh. Can't wait to do it again. Kawaiju is is saying food tour. Food tour, yeah. Kawaiju. Talking I, about that. Yeah, I think uh, Kawaiju is definitely our uh, foodie uh, sister. Our foodie people. <laughs> our foodie people for sure. Uh, there is a cute little card game designed by a local kid in Seattle, and his parents called Taco vs. Burrito with the foodie expansion deck. Oh, nice! Oh, that just sounds really cute. That sounds delightful. <laughs> I want to play that. Uh, my wife and I take brewcations where we visit cities just to hit up craft breweries and eat. Y'all make it to Atlanta, we can get in. Oh, yeah, absolutely. 21st Century Games, yeah, um, we're there. Yeah, totally. Now, <laughs> I'm no longer a big beer drinker. I still have the occasional beer. Michelle um, enjoys, what are you? Sour beers. Michelle loves sour beers, and I've become more of a sour beer um, uh, drinker as well. well although we don't, we're not big drinkers. Um, in general. In general. But we do enjoy the occasional adult beverage. <clears throat> Um, we I have, was just thinking, the yeah. last time we went to our local sour beer brewery, um, they had this drink. I don't know. You have oh, sour yeah. beer. You put, <clears throat> yeah. I don't know. This like magical green stuff in there. And it tasted like a, a green apple Jolly Rancher. Yeah. It was like, it was, think of a, of a drink, a, like a drinkable Jolly Rancher, which was yeah. like oh, apple, it's right? Really it's really good. Apple. I, I think it's. I, I think know. that's green. Yeah. It was magical it, green juice. It, it, is what it was. It was. Good. Yeah, yeah. It's of gaming food tour, folks. You know, when everything is, y'all are invited, we're gonna make this a thing. Hopefully, I'm, I'm thinking 2022, maybe after Dice Tower West, 
as like, you know. Y'all should have TLN Con and one of the things should uh, be the food tour. <laughs> maybe TLN Con, Tabletop Live Network. Oh my gosh, we're, we got all kinds of ideas coming, folks. <laughs> Thank you again for joining us. I'm Ruel. This is Michelle. We're hanging out in chat because it is Taco Tuesday. And hey, by the way, we have a new follower. We got a couple of new followers, but the first one I want to shout, actually, right now, 21st, uh, 25th Century Games. I keep saying 21st. I'm thinking I'm an old school Star Wars fan. I always think 21st Century Fox, you know, because that's uh-huh. how Star Wars started. 25th Century Games, thank you for the follow. We do analog alerts here. So here's Felicia Followfish. She shows up, swims around, thanks all the new followers, and then she swims away. And all of us, including chat, we all say, Bye, Bye Felicia. Felicia. Thanks for the follow, 25th Century Games. And then Appreciate here's your round of applause because I don't the, have my clappy hands. The round of applause. Thank you. Uh, the Clyde Man has subscribed for four months with Prime. Thank you, Clyde Man. Uh, we're going to give you a shout out as well. We have an alert. It is a renewed subscription. Thank you, Clyde Man, for your support. Four months. That's great. We truly appreciate all your support, folks. Thank you so much. And uh, let's continue with <laughs> chat here. Um, I, I want to make sure we shout out everyone here. And, oh my gosh, Gold Seal Games is giving away a sub. Folks, you know what that means. We've got another alert. Alert. Oh, no, that's the thank you. <laughs> the alert. <laughs> you all know. <laughs> Just hold up the science. <laughs> Nothing but the most professional stream in the business, folks. <laughs> we have a gift subscription thanks to our friends at Gold Seal Games. Thank you, Gold Seal Games. And because it's a gift, well, you know what's coming. Gift, gift, gift. Gift, gift, gift. Gift 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 gift, 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 gift. Thank you, Gold Seal. There's the gift hat for you. Thank you oh, so much. Appreciate the support. Woke up. Oh, we, Bruno was sleeping. Our oh, pug was sleeping. He is waking up now. I'm sorry. We yeah. were loud, huh? <laughs> we were loud. Michelle's talking to Bruno right now. Oh. He may make an appearance, folks. Uh, thanks for all the bye Felicia's in chat. Hi, sweet boy. Always appreciate y'all. So, so good to see everyone here. Uh, I'm in to eat some lechon and tacos. Yeah, cards and dice. That that sounds good. Sounds like uh, jungle juice from college. Jungle ju- pantry. Thank you. That is the scariest thing. Our jungle juice. I don't even know what that is. Oh <laughs> yeah. Back in the day, it was just a bunch of ton a uh, ton of alcohol with ice and then juices and it's jungle juice. Yeah. <laughs> when you're younger, you can get away with uh, eating that type of stuff. Uh, I want to shout out. Let's see. We've got a Bruno trick from Deadpan. Uh, thanks, Deadfan, for redeeming the Bruno trick points. There's a trick for you. Whoop. <laughs> oh, okay, I think he's ready. And okay. since Bruno did his trick, oh, uh, Amanda got a treat for Bruno. Thanks for treating Bruno. Trick or treat. Trick and treat. Trick and treat. <laughs> Hey, Bruno, you gotta come over here so I can lift you up. Cause okay, Bruno's gonna right make now. an appearance real soon. Hey, Folks, are, are you serious? We got a hype train coming. Folks, thank Whoa. you so much. We got a Bruno walk for Steep Games. Steep Games is in the house. Thank you, Steep Games, for joining us. Okay, there sure. is a Bruno walk. Thanks for walking our pug. We got a hype train going, really? Okay, that means I take this hat off and I'm gonna get my hype train. I don't know where my hype train hat is. Um, here it is. Okay. Baby. The hype you. train, folks. Uh, there's the hype train hat. And here's our pug. Hi, Bruno. Bruno, Bruno. <laughs> Just... He wanted to, uh, when I was teaching earlier, something a kid with a math uh, assignment and little dog wanted to go <laughs> and watch too. I was like, this is not the stream. This is math. <laughs> oh, Bruno. And Steep Games is here just for Bruno. We're all here just for Bruno. Thanks for joining us, Steep Games. Folks, Steep Games, they've got a great new game coming out. Another one the Chai um, line of games, so stick around for that. Um, more info soon. Gold Seal Games has also redeemed a Bruno fan um, <gasps> points. Thank you, um, Gold Seal, and thank you, uh, Deadpan. You know, we don't have a Bruno. Well, we'll just, this is your Bruno fan emote here, the real thing Ew. in real life. Emote. Oh, he looks sleepy. You still sleepy, buddy? Uh, yeah, because we woke him up. <laughs> we did, yeah. There's another one. Thank you, James, for being a Bruno fan. Thank you all. We're all Bruno fans, you know? Um, it is Taco Tuesday. If you want to talk about what games you're excited for or just tacos in general, as we've been doing, <laughs> please continue to do so in chat. Uh, thanks again for the hype train, folks. We got, uh, just about three minutes uh, left to get to the next level hype train. Oh, That's when you're spending bits, yeah. um, cheering and, um, subbing and gifting subs. Hey, Bruno. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so tired. So many yawns. Oh my gosh. Thank so you all for hanging out. Hey, yeah, he's so damn cute. Yeah, he, he really is. He's a good boy. Oh. Uh, it was funny earlier. Um, he was, he'll like, just like in the morning, he'd like, he'll barge in our room 
and check on Michelle. Actually, late at night, he'll check on Michelle. He'll like go up on the bed, check on her, and then he'll she'll pet him, and then he'll go you know go sleep. Um, but this morning, I noticed that Michelle uh, she was taking her shower, and this guy was just sitting right next to the door, like all like like just waiting for her to get out of the shower. It's so cute. Say hello. Oh, wait, we call uh, Mich- uh, Bruno uh, Michelle's um, shadow. Infinite Dragon has cheered 100 bits. Thank you, Infinite Dragon. Thank you so much for um, spending the bits. <laughs> Folks, you know what happens. I'm going to be careful about Bruno. Uh-oh. Whenever you spend bits on our channel, I come out of hibernation. I am Benny the Bits Bear. Thank you, Infinite Dragon, for spending the bit. Uh-oh. Bruno is my Ooh, nemesis. Uh-oh. 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 Hi, Bruno. Oh, oh, he's like backing up. Oh, Bruno. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, he probably he wants to go on the floor and get Benny. Anyway, thank you for the bits, friends. You spend bits. I make it. I show up and ruin Ruel's voice. Thank you. <laughs> oh. oh yeah, now Bruno's here. Oh, Bruno, no, no, no. Okay, he's he's trying to get here. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he went yeah. over there. <laughs> <laughs> Bruno, he's not here. Oh yeah, Bruno, Benny and the bits, folks. That's what it is. Uh, Bandelstein says, not a game, but City of Ghosts on Netflix has been a massive... Oh, okay, uh, City of Ghosts. Ben, I really want to see that. I just saw it on, you know, it shows up on the trending or whatever on, on Netflix. I need to check that out. Uh, Pentry has redeemed a Bruno trick. Thank you. There is your trick from Bruno. Gold good Seal boy. Game says, I'm still waiting on the analog screen frame. <laughs> That's been... Well. Yeah. Should I bust out one? Yeah, you might as well. Like, okay. You know, it's a special night here, Gold Seal Games. <laughs> we actually have one uh, that Michelle made um, many years ago. In 2015. Two, oh my gosh, six years ago? Oh, jeez. <coughs> Almost six years ago. This is something we have during a Gaviola game night uh, when we would host it for Lauren's friends. Um, can we do oh, this down? Oh, yeah. So this is Gaviola game night here in Rancho Cucamonga. It's like our little Instagram frame. And yeah. Whoa, what? I know. So, so this, this was the date. Oh, wait. That was the date. Yeah. So it was 8-12. No. 8-1-2015? Mm-hmm. Uh, something like that. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't remember. Um, but <laughs> close to God, I love you guys. Yeah. Uh, so this is... Uh, we love you, too. Uh, this is something uh, we did... Uh, Michelle did and Lauren's friends. They all you know took the pictures as a reminder of the fun night we had. Um, we host... Because we're the cool parents. Yeah. Well, Lauren, just, she hasn't realized it yet. <laughs> yeah. We tell Lauren all the time we're the cool parents. So I don't know. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah. So that's what that's what we do. Um, that is our Instagram frame. So there's there's your analog frame. Um, uh, the, that show shines a really good spotlight on LA. Oh, oh about the people, not the. Po- oh, okay. Okay, we need to uh, check that out, folks. We have um, let's see, hype train complete. Your community. Thank you for the hype train, folks. Much appreciated. Uh, the show shines a really good spotlight on LA and the people, not the pop. Okay, that. See, I need to. Oh. We need to check that out for sure. So you can do this amazing uh, baby. Uh, watch City of Ghosts if you can. It's beautiful and amazing. Will do. Daryl Game and thank you for redeeming the Bruno points. Um, taking Bruno on a walk. Thanks, Daryl. Uh, oh, I didn't get a chance to take Bruno on a walk today, and it's supposed to rain tomorrow. I think. Yeah. And Jimmy Glazer's in the house. Hi, Jimmy. Uh, so we just did a little hype trading. Appreciate it, folks. I'm going to move the, that. Bruno's still barking. He's still looking for Benny. Benny's up here. And we're going to get to the game now. You can see here's Benny here. We're going to put him over here so Bruno doesn't find him. Uh, thank you again for joining us, folks. This is Kohaku uh, from Gold Seal Games, 25th century, um, 21st, 25th century games. This, I don't know. How can I? I, I want to do these tiles justice because the tiles are absolutely amazing why don't i show it here under the green screen can you all see that these it really are, is translucent <laughs> they, they really are you know maybe if i do this these are acrylic tiles folks i mean if you could show like the side maybe yeah i mean they're, see how thick it is yeah they're thick acrylic and then the like the art like the fish the koi's within the um tile and then on top is the dragonfly. So it's got this sort of like 3D effect to it. I mean, it is... Michelle, I'm going to be honest. Michelle and I were just like blown away the other day when we opened this up. We just got it the other day. Just totally blown away. And we played it. And we're fans of Danny Devine, uh, the designer of Topiary. And, you know, I also found out he designed Harvest Dice, if you remember that one. The dice one with the... Um, so like a Roland Wright. It, I know. I remember playing it. Yeah. I 
remember what it looks like. Though. Our friend Oscar, he's a big fan of it. It's been a while since we played, but you yeah. roll dice, you you allocate them, and you like grow a farm. Yeah. And there's a pig. Yeah. 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 Really great game. Um, yeah. So Danny divides on that. Uh, Topiary also um, a Sprawlopolis, which I still need to play. Um, but yeah, we are super super excited to get this game and playing it the other night. It's fantastic. It's um, let's see. Oh my god, those tiles. Yeah, Kawaiju, I mean, I the I can't stop raving about these tiles. I mean, folks. I mean, they are just absolutely gorgeous. I've never seen a game that has these things. And again, you can they're they're rock solid. Uh, almost, I, I was afraid to touch them at first. I was like, are these glass? You know, I was like, are we going to cut ourselves? But, I mean, they're acrylic. Uh, absolutely gorgeous. Uh, let's see. Oh, my God, those guys. Yeah, those look amazing. They are. There's really good feeling and depth to the tiles, particularly like the turtles. Yes. I'm sure, Ben, you, you probably, I'm sure you have the game. Ben has all the games. <laughs> <laughs> wow, beautiful. Yes. I love Harvest Dice, uh, Draw Carrots, Tomatoes, and Lettuce. Yeah, Harvest Dice is so much fun. I've heard Sprawlopolis is, good. Sprawlopolis is great. I have not played it yet, unfortunately. Um, and this also comes with the mat. Yeah. So also, that. so this is the Kickstarter deluxe version, um, I believe. Uh, and again, Gold Seal will uh, let us know. This is a play mat. So yeah, the, instead of a board, it is a play mat, which is beautiful. Uh, first of its kind, we had to search high and low for a manufacturer could, that could do it. Yeah. And that's what I figured. I, I'd never seen anything like this. So what this game is, uh, people print on acrylic, but not this uh, underside printing technique. Yeah, let me see if I can. Here's one for the statue. Um, let's get that green. Yeah, I mean, they're going to come. I mean, they look like ghosts at this point, but let me uh, do this up here. Like, here's the statue. You can see the little koi. It really is almost like a 3D thing effect. Then you get your points here. Um Let's take a quick look at the game. It's what I love about this game, folks. Uh, again, Michelle and I just played it the other night. It's a really simple um, tile lane game, but there's a lot of depth to it uh, because of the uh, different scoring conditions and the way you're going to build your tableau. So it's a tile lane game, uh, tableau builder. Um, you're building your own koi pond. And from the central pond here, you're going to select two tiles every turn. They must be adjacent. You're going to take one koi tile and one feature tile. Uh, these are set up in a checkerboard arrangement. You have koi, feature, koi, feature, koi, feature, so forth. You're going to do the same thing on your tableau. Michelle will build on that side. I'll build on this side. Let me get this over just a little bit. Have, give myself a little room. I'll build here, Michelle. You'll build there. And when you're building, you're going to take them and, again, you're going to build a koi, feature, koi, feature. Um, as you build, it doesn't have to go, like, in order. You can do one um, here like maybe a fish over here, just as long as it's uh, side to side, no, not corner to corner, okay? And you just, we do that until all of the tiles, all of the koi tiles have been depleted, and then we'll do final scoring. How does scoring uh, work? Glad you asked, Ruel. Um It's <laughs> my favorite joke. I'm going to use it every single time. Here's the different ways you can score, folks. Uh, we have the single flowers. Uh, those are two points for every adjacent koi tile with fish that contain the flower's color. So if we had a red flower and there are two red koi fish next to them, you will get four points. Dual flowers, two points for every adjacent koi um, with that, that contain one flower's color. Score three points instead if the koi on the tile are both colors. Okay, So you'll notice some of these, like this one here, is a yellow and black koi so the yellow and black if you have that um a yellow and black uh, flower which none of them are here uh, you would have gotten three points now if this black tile here and you have the black yellow that does count as black and or yellow so you will get two points here you'll notice here on this flower if you get all four have black uh fish you will get 12 points total if you have just three then you'll get the two times three is six okay whoops Uh, let's get back to the rule sheet here. Uh, the next one is the rocks. The rocks are one point for every individual baby koi on each adjacent tile. So you'll see some of these. Oh, here's one. These, this red one here. You'll see the little baby koi. So those are three right there. So you just count up the um, koi that are adjacent to that. Uh, next we have, let's get the rule sheet back out. Uh, let's go to the frogs. Uh, similar to the um, uh, babies, you're going to look for dragonflies. And I think we saw a dragonfly right here. Yeah. 
So any koi that have dragonflies adjacent to the frogs, um, you'll get points per dragonfly there. Okay, and back to the rule sheet. Um, let me do the statues and turtles first. Actually, turtles. Turtles are easy. Uh, five points for every turtle in your pond. Statues are easy. You get one uh, any the amount of koi around a statue. Uh, one is one point and all the way up to a max of four koi around the statue for ten points. Now, butterflies. These are the interesting ones. Butterflies are here. Oops. So this butterfly is white. And what you do with the butterflies, you look at... Examine every koi tile in the same row or column, and you get two points for each that match the color. So this white one, you can have, it's not just the adjacent koi, but also in the entire row and or column, then you're going to count those points. Okay. And I read that wrong when we played. Oh, really? I thought it was, like, if that was the tile, I thought it was everything that had white on it. Not uh, just the koi. Yeah, just the koi. Yeah, just the koi. Uh, oh, Amanda, thank you so much for dropping the link there. Uh, folks, you're going to also notice that uh, most of these uh, fish are going to be two colors. However, some of them are only one color, like this um, yellow one. Oh, is this yellow? Yeah. Yes. Uh, this yellow one, uh, they have coins. At the end of the game, for every coin in your pond, you will get a point. That's the game. That's it. That's the beauty of this game. It's a, a real simple tile lane uh, tableau builder. And um, yeah, that's it. Michelle won the previous game. Uh, would you like to start this game? Oh, we got a bunch of comments. Maybe we sure. should maybe check this out here. Okay. Um, oh, a lot of comments. Let me see. I love Harvard Dice. Yeah. Uh, people print on acrylic. Oh, yeah. We saw that. Great. Is... Wait, this is the retail version? Oh, whoa. That's gorgeous. It's beautiful. Yeah. Okay, folks. Yeah, this is... I, I thought for sure this was like a deluxe Kickstarter version. Okay. This is it, folks. You you order this. That's that's what you get. Oh, my gosh. That's amazing. Okay. Wow. Uh, really, the retail version. Wow. Must get... I, I feel like it is. It, oh, my gosh. Great partnership. Definitely helps that Chad lives like... Oh, 20 minutes away. Nice. <laughs> yeah, from FLGS. Go for it. Otherwise, we've got a few copies left through our website. There it is, folks. Uh, Andrew and I talk basically every daily, but uh, help play test games. Nice. Share booths at cons. We're ready to work. Helping. Oh, that's great. Very nice. Okay. Um, we're going to jump into it. Michelle will go first. And okay. thank you again for joining us, folks. This is Tabletop Tonight, and we are playing Kohaku. Ooh, what do I want to do? I want... I think um, I will go with these two. Okay. Oops. Oh, oh, I forgot. Can you share how uh, we refill tiles here? Okay, so we need to move these center pieces to the edges. Mm -hmm. And then we get two new tiles. Okay, so this one here means we put a fish tile. Okay, so there's that one. And then, what do we call it? Feature? Feature. Okay, so it looks like a lily pad? Yep. And, oh, it's upside down. That bothers me. Okay. <laughs> cool. Okay. Okay, so now it's my turn. And that's that's the game right there, folks. We go until all these stack, uh, fish are gone. Uh, in the two-player game, you take out... I, there's uh, tiles that have uh, three stones and four stones. You take those out for the three- and four-player games. Then you randomly uh, drop a bunch of tiles, too. I think... How many tiles are you supposed to... So I don't think I did that part of the setup. Uh, remove seven from the game. Okay, so let's re remove seven from the game. I'll just take oh, just them. Just the fish tiles? Yeah, just randomly. Two, three, four, five, six. I'll tell you what, I'll take four from the bottom and one, two, three from the top. One, two, and three. So those are out of the game randomly. No, that one would have won me the game. Oh, no. <laughs> Asterisk. <I just> know. <laughs> Skyhawk3 has subscribed with Prime. Thank you, Skyhawk. Much appreciated. Folks, remember, if you have uh, Amazon Prime, you get one free sub per month. We truly appreciate you subscribing to our channel. Okay, so now I'm going to take a pirate. So the tiles that you have to take, they must be adjacent uh, from the central pond. I'm going to take the butterfly and... Um, this black one in black and yellow here okay so I'll put that I'll start it here and then we push this one out here and refill and it is Michelle's turn ooh turtle ooh okay now what's the one with the dragonflies it's the frog right one point for every individual frag dragonfly on each adjacent tile yeah we don't have any frogs yeah no frogs yet Okay, and the rock does what? 
One point four every individual baby koi yeah. on each adjacent tile. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bruno just kicked the camera. I saw this was shaking. He kicked. Oh, <laughs> I think he heard the little dog next door. Yeah. Um. Okay, I'm gonna do this. Okay. Okay, we gotta remember to score the coins this time. Yeah, we forgot the coins last time, but it wouldn't. Have, Michelle would have beat me anyways. Okay. Um, oh. Go ahead and refill okay, so some. Okay, you're going to take that, that turtle, huh? I'm thinking oh, about it. Oh, what am it. I doing? But let me see. Oops. The turtle is worth five points. Wannabe think... Kiwi 13 has subscribed for seven months. Thank you, Wannabe Kiwi, so much. Appreciate it. There's my frog. Yeah, let me get the alert frog. here. We got we got alert for both the Wannabe Kiwi and Skyhawk 3. We have a new subscriber. We have a renewed subscription. Thank you both so much for your support. Especially want to be, I mean, all of y'all, but it's nice to see want to be Kiwi. Uh, they've been uh, supportive for so long. Thank you so much. Um, we are playing Kohaku from Gold Seal Games. It's my turn. Do I want that turtle? So I'd take the turtle and oh. a white fish. Or I could take this one. I had frog on the mind and I took the rock. <laughs> oh. Oh. Do you want to rewind? Do you want to um, rewind the game? No, that's okay. all right. Because here's a frog here, right? I know, yeah. Okay. Well, I'm oh. going gonna, gonna to tell you right now, I'm not, I'm not taking the frog. Um, so I am going to take... Oh, I see, because you want it in that spot. Yeah, for the dragonfly, so okay. I can score the dragonflies. For the frogs, okay. You want your one for the game after, after I leave this frog here? I'm going to go with this one. So I'm going to get the black flower and then the uh, black fish, because I want the black fish here. And the black flower. And I here. would like my do over, but how are we going to do my do over? Um, Does it, I, I want to put that right here. <laughs> uh, was th No, this didn't show up until. No. Okay, gotcha. Well, why don't you just uh, move that um, rock, somewhere, rock else. somewhere else? Yeah. Okay. Well, let me move just it to where it's going to benefit me. Yeah. Okay, well. It's, I'll move this here for now. I'll just put this here and hope for some baby koi. Okay. Hey, there you go right there. I just gave him baby koi. Oh, look at that. Was good. Okay, so that's your one for the game. We That's our okay. house rule, folks. You got one per game. Okay, so I will take this <coughs> one and that one. Oh, want to be Kiwi. I want to copy this game. I can't wait to get to play it. Thought I would come and check out the experts playing it. I don't know about experts, but, um, but we thank play you. It. <laughs> yeah. We it. We really like it, want to be Kiwi. Yeah. It's it's. I'd say it's a lighter game. Um, but I mean, there, it's, it's got some nice, interesting oh. decisions. Like how are you going to, Oh, there's another problem. Like how are you going to, um, which sets are you going to try to collect? Okay. So I've got my, there's Benny fur here. Uh oh, <laughs> I can't get it off of there. Um, I'll grab it when I grab okay. the tile. The turtle. Okay. This is the white butterfly. Uh, I'm going to get white butterfly and this one. So white butterfly can go. I'm going to do this here, and I'll put the white here. And then this fish goes to this spot, and this feature goes to that spot, and we refill. And now it is, oh, a lot of white flowers out. It's, oh, and a white, a white fish with a gold coin. Huh. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if you have the single flower to get the maximum points, all four of the koi have to have that. To get Color. the max, okay. yeah. Okay. Do I want to do that? Okay, I think. <laughs> mm -hmm. Now that I got my frog. <sighs> Tara was in the house. Victor, hi. What hey. up, fam? It's been a hot minute. Right? Seriously. I was thinking about you the other day, Victor. I hope everything's going well, man. Um, hit me up in DMs. Let me, hopefully you're, you're all... I hope all is well, but thank you for joining us, friend. This definitely missed you, brother. And I think I'm oh, <laughs> I was just gonna pick from anywhere on here. Yeah. Okay, which I cannot do. So I could. Eh, do I want the turtle? Because he will score five wherever he is. Okay, you know I'm just gonna take. Want to be curious? The 25th century is doing really good with lighter weight games that still have enough strategy to capture attention of gamers. Who like heavier games like uh, Kingswood? So good, yeah. Agreed. Want to be Kiwi? That's a really great way to put it. Uh, these are lighter games that you can totally play with family, but there's still enough meat on the bones for uh, gamers. Um, 
Oh, wow. Still there's thinky. a lot of white flowers. Yeah, definitely thinky. Because there's white so many ways there. to score. And yeah. And, you know, some of us True. think frogs and take rocks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take... Ooh, this black one would be good here. Okay, I'm going to go with this. And this is white and black. Yes. So what I do is I take this here and this here. Uh, that way my black um, can score for the butterflies because I'm going to score every black uh, koi in the column or row. Okay, and then this feature fills up here and this fish fills here. Wow, there's another white. There's like so many. Did Who shuffled these? <laughs> Were they shuffled? Yeah. Okay. Um, ah. Well, I guess I'm going to have to take some of these white flowers and these white fish. Okay, so I think I will take... Gold Seal says, um, our biggest struggle when streaming this game was filling the air because it is very easy for someone to just relax and be really quiet when playing this game. Yeah. Absolutely see that, yeah. Um, when we played last night, it was definitely like just super chill and yeah. Okay. Um... And quiet, so yeah. So I want to put this here. Dead Last Again's in the house. Thanks uh, for joining us, Dead Last Again. Good to see you. You've got those backwards in the middle. Uh-oh. Thank you. Oh, my bad. No, no worries. Okay, so this goes here and this goes here. Been no, doing that well. wasn't my bad. That life was... happens. You know how it goes. Uh, okay, good. Yeah, yeah. life happens, brother. Okay. Awesome. And, you know, you can always find me here. Yep. Uh, hey, is it okay to hit your DMs on Twitter? So, ooh, Dragon Castle. Y'all can play. Nice. Okay. Um, my go, right? Uh-huh. Oh, the statue. Just, I like the statue. Okay. So I'm going to go with this and this. The statue just needs to be... Surrounded. Surrounded. So we put that there. And the black fish, I'll put right here. And then we just refill these. Another black fish. And... I was going to say, if it's another white one, I'm out of here. <laughs> um, did I put it in the right spot? I did. Okay. Oh, so there's one of the double flowers. Okay. So, I think I want... <laughs> what do I want? If I do... This one? Oh, Victor's asking what new... Hey, Victor, you can take Bruno for a walk. You can also uh, give Bruno a treat and or have Bruno do a trick um, if you spend channel points. Okay, so fishy feature. Griff Dog has redeemed a Bruno treat. Thanks, Griff Dog. Hey, check this out, Victor. Oops, wait. Which one was it? The treat. Oh, and a trick. Okay, so we'll do the treat first. Well, actually, we'll do the treat trick first. There's a Bruno trick. <laughs> <laughs> and he does his trick. He gets a treat. Thanks, Griff Dog. He's got, like, two other tricks. Yeah. Oh, and thanks, I want to be Kiwi. Appreciate it. Okay, okay. my go. Yes. Okay, so I want... Is that another turtle? Oh. It is. Yeah, last oh. time we played, it took forever to get a turtle. Yeah, wow. Um, oh, that one would have been nice. Okay, um, I'm going to go with uh, this black and white. Oh, I can't, okay. Okay, I'm going to do this black and white. So I'll do the black fish here, and then I'll do the white flat. Oh, I can't put it next to a thing. I can put it over here or over here. I'll go here. Okay. Oh, and then we refill. Uh, this goes here. Fish feature. Oh, another double flower. <coughs> okay. Oh, and Amanda's redeemed a Bruno walk. Thanks for walking our pug. <laughs> Thanks, Victor. <laughs> Bruno uh, snoring. We need to do like a Bruno okay. snore uh, sound. Oh, thing. a sound bite. Yeah. Okay, I think Hi, this Jake. is thanks what for, I wanted to. Thanks for reminding us, Flow B, to hydrate. Appreciate y'all. I think there's a crack at the bottom of my cup. 
<laughs> oh, no. oh, Flo B says, I just tried hibiscus LaCroix today. It really is a welcoming and refreshing beverage. Nice. I'm doing a peach pear today. Okay, so this oh, Bruno is... plushies. Don't get us started. Oh, that sounds amazing. Well, you have a Bruno plushie. Well, it's not our dog, Bruno, but... Yeah. We, we have it's this a one. Pug plushie. Yeah. Oh, everything, all my stuff just fell on the floor. Uh, here's the, we have, we do have this Bruno plushie. This pl oh. That's from when you did your RPG. Yeah, yeah that was for Wardlings of the Renegade. Um, so I'm going to go with, ooh, another black butterfly. I can, yeah, I got to take this butterfly here. Oh, yeah, that works out. Butterfly, I this one and this there. one. Oh, my goodness. I'll put this here because that's got black. And then I'll put the white fish over here so I can double up on that. This fish goes there. A feature. Another turtle. Wow, all the turtles will come out this game, babe. A black fish. I might have to take the turtle because... Uh... Wait, there's a pug in root? What, Amanda, really? In the uh, new... I did not see the pug in root. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Is that for the expansion? The new one that's on Kickstarter? Um, why did I do that? <laughs> oh, I forgot to do this. I was going to do like background music. Okay, Let us know if the background music is too loud, folks. I'm going to turn it on. This one. Okay, so if I put this there. I guess. <coughs> okay. Excuse me. Uh, there's so. going to be in the expansion. Oh, nice. Okay, I'm going to put black. Oh, I think I didn't. Yeah, right I there. totally missed that in the expansion, the pug. I didn't see that. Okay, so this goes here, this goes here. Oh, I got the wrong channel on that. <laughs> Sorry. I what? thought I had the chill station. I, I forgot that we did the house, uh, house station. <laughs> okay, chill music going on now. I'm going to turn it down a little bit. <laughs> Whoops! I forgot we, we did something uh, different there. Uh, I was thinking of the same thing. Okay, That's hopefully we got we the chill. <laughs> yeah, hopefully we got the chill music now. Uh, I want um, man. I could do another flower. You know what we're not seeing a lot of is the butterflies this time. Yeah, yeah. Oh I, well, no, I think we got three two. of them. Do I have three? One, two. Oh yeah. Not much. Okay, I'm gonna get this <laughs> flower. It's relax. <laughs> or maybe I could do the turtle. Um, no, I want to get the black flower. Oh, is this a black fish? No, that's a red fish. It's, what am I doing? Yeah. Darn it. There's a black fish here. Red, yellow. I want to say red fish, blue fish. Oh, no, yeah. One fish, two fish, <laughs> red fish, 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 blue fish. Okay, maybe I could get the white and the black. Yeah. Okay. I'll get this one here. We're going to put white fish here and then white flower there. And I'll move this down. Give myself a little more room. Okay. And I'm going <laughs> to move this now. Oh, yeah. Victor, okay. he said you beat him to his joke about the one fish, two fish. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this morning I was helping a student um, with a quiz. And, you know, I, just, I, I give hints and, you know, it was multiple choice and, you know, one of the things was not like the other. And I told the kid, have you ever watched Sesame Street? Because <laughs> one of these things is not like the other. And I was like, pick the thing that's not like the other. <laughs> I didn't say that, but, you know, I was, I was trying to, like, use my brain waves yep. to tell him that. <laughs> and he didn't pick the right answer. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay. Uh, my go, right? What's it? Oh, I forgot. You just, let's see. I oh, have, I read. How many do you have? I have two, four, six, eight, nine, 10, 12, 13, 14, 16. I also have 16. Uh, you went first. So, 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 so it's it is back to you. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I think I was just refilling it because you were talking. Thank you. Okay. I uh, love the house music. <laughs> I almost broke out the glow sticks. Time. <laughs> Gold Seal says there's a speaker brand called. Ooh, oh, yeah, there is. A oonce. We have a oonce speaker in our we room. We do. That little, yeah, we little do. one. Yeah. Okay. Um, what am I doing? Okay, if I do this one. And, okay, and this means I would have all the koi that are white would score mm -hmm. 
Okay, I'm gonna take that one. In the row and column for that one. For the butterfly? What am I doing? Okay, this goes here. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, so not just adjacent, but the entire row and or column. Okay. Okay, I'll refill so I don't so I don't forget it's my turn. I'm gonna put these on here. Fish and feature. No, I wasn't playing the game with my students. And they, it's just harder this semester because I'm not meeting with them as a group. So um, it's just on an individual basis. Okay, I need some room here. I'm going to get this feature here. So I'm going to get some points off of that fish and points off of that fish. And I'll be able to cover up that one there. We'll refill here. Fish, red and yellow. And a feature, a frog. Hey, there's your frog. Okay, do I want a frog? What do I want? Okay, so if I have this, I can get either a yellow or a black fish. Okay. And then I can also get... Hoppy Meeple's in the house. Hi, Hoppy. So if I Good evening. This one. Aha! Okay. <coughs> Frogs or dragonflies? Okay, so. Or do I want the white one? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Okay. No, I don't know. I've got this affinity for these dragonflies. I'm, yeah. I, I don't know why. But should I get a turtle though? <laughs> Gold Seal Games, I have not tried the solo game yet. I did look over the rules last night after Michelle and I played. Y'all know I'm a solo player. It's definitely something I'm going to be trying real soon. Um, I made. Um, I, I'm thinking about streaming on Saturday, solo Saturday. I may. I'm going to do a couple of games. I may do. Um, I may add this to the mix. We'll see. Wait, frogs. Panic Games in the house. Thanks for joining us, Panic. Okay. So there's that one. Ooh. And rocks. Okay. The rocks is, that's for your babies, right? And then the... Rocks are for the baby koi's. Yeah. Not for dragonflies. That's right. Oh, what do I, I want to get another black fish here, but that red doesn't do me any good. Oh, I could do that one, a turtle. It's a tortuga. A tortuga, which, okay, I'm going to do that. I'm going to get the turtle and the black and white fish here. So let's move this here, give myself a little more room. Um, tortuga, oh, that's gonna get me three points there. And I have to put the Tortuga. Um, this is just, yeah, I can just put, oh, I need to cover that thing. Okay, so I'm gonna put the Tortuga down here. We'll just put them down here, right? No, no, uh, right there, it's gonna be off camera. Okay, then this moves to the feature. We get a new fish, getting close to the end of the game here, folks, and a new feature. Okay, see, that kind of messed up my plan. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love this game. Solo. Oh, James has played solo. Nice, James. Okay, awesome. So... I really want to learn this game. Yeah, this game, I'm loving it. I, I mean, I'm loving it. It's, if again, it's beautiful, folks. I take. Hoppy Meeple, they are. Uh, we showed them. Off, I'll show them off on the camera. I'll show this one off here, and it's going to come out a little clearer. I mean, these are heavy acrylic. I don't know if you could see like I mean, how thick they are. That's the sound, um, and some of the art. I'm going to show you. Let me see. Uh, we'll do this one with the dragonflies. It's got this like 3D effect. Like you can see, the fish is like underneath the acrylic I guess and then the dragonflies are on top so it really does have this 3D effect to it. So rocks or baby Shoot, boy. where was this? Was this here? Yeah, okay. Um. Yeah, Wanna Be Kiwi, so beautiful. Um, oh no way, Danny Devine, the designer, also did the art. Oh, multi-talented. Oops. Yeah, man, I think you'd like this game. It's a beautiful yeah. game, but yeah, the gameplay is just so, so good. This game is amazing. Okay. 21st, uh, 21st Century Productions are always great. 
Also love Space Explorers, Winter Winter Chicken Dinner, Kings of it, and Jurassic Parts. I don't think I've played Space Explorers, which I liked. I don't know if I've played uh, the other ones, though. Okay. Um, Brutal Dan's in the house. Hi, Brutal Dan. Thanks for joining us. I believe that's Danny, right? Um, we are playing Kohaku from Gold Seal Games in 25th. I, is it a, it's, a, uh, it's a collaboration, right? Gold Seal in 25th uh, century. I just want to make sure. Um, it's my turn. Yes. Okay, thank you. I am going to... Uh... <laughs> Winner, winner, chicken dinner comes with a rubber chicken in the box. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hey, uh, Dan Goodhart, just follow us. But folks, we have a new follower, so that means, uh, we'll take a quick break here. We welcome all our new followers. Hey, there's a Bruno walk. Hey, Bruno just uh, gave a little walk there. There you go. Bonus uh, free Bruno walk. <laughs> <laughs> For the most part, though, we do do analog alerts here. And Dan Goodhart, Felicia the Followfish, shows up as our analog alert to welcome new followers, says hello, takes off, and all of us, including chat, we say Bye, Bye Felicia. Felicia. Thanks for the follow, Dan Goodhart. Let's get back to the game. We are playing Kohaku, and it's my turn. Is there any more white fish? Okay, there's a white fish there. Uh, oh, you know what? I need to cover up the statue before it's too late. Okay, I'm going to take this one and this one. That goes there. That goes there. And this one, this fish moves out here. It's replaced by this fish. Cool. Thanks for the bye, Felicia's in chat, folks. Always nice okay. to see. Oh, what happened here? Oh, this one was supposed to go here. My bad. Oop. Red flower. Okay. Ooh, what do I want? Okay, maybe I want this one and that one. 25th century game, so it sounds like I'll have to get some games sent over to y'all. <laughs> you okay. better, Chad. <laughs> So this fish goes here. This fish goes here. That would be a very kind of you, friend. Okay. Oh, statue. Okay. So I need to cover this statue. I'm gonna get a fish. What? I need a white fish. Yeah. White fish there. I can get another statue. Uh, this is white. That's white. I can get a white flower. I'm gonna get this one here. So white fish here to cover up my statue, and then a white flower here and then this feature here this fish here We've got two more turns one more turn for Michelle one more turn for me oh wait no there's that and hey rocks for the baby fish okay um hmm oh tricky time brutal Dan yes love tricky tides tricky tides is if you like trick taking games folks it's a trick taking game with pick up and deliver. Really unique. Love that game. I don't know if my friend Jeff Bailey is in the house, but shout out to Jeff for showing that to me at Strategic Con, the last Strategic Con here in LA. Oh, feels like so long ago. It was, it was like a year ago. Um, okay, I was going to do that. I gotta move my koi pond over. <laughs> Bruno will definitely perk up with that squeaking for sure. Board Game Spam's in the house. Hi, Board Game Spam. We've been lurking while baking chocolate chip cookies and banana bread. Those are our people, folks. <laughs> you, those, shout out and bring given Board Game Spam the heart. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this goes here. And this goes here. <laughs> I feel like those moved. Or am I just shrinking? <laughs> uh, maybe just shrinking. Okay, so we got butterflies. Fishies. Black and red. Nah, I don't want that. Oh, I can get some babies. I got the babies. Got babies here. That's one, two, three babies if I get this one. And then I can get this one here for more babies. Okay, yeah, this is actually really good for me. Um, that's going to go there. And then that fish will go there. And then we slide the fish here. Slide the feature there. Excuse me. Okay, Michelle now has one more turn. Then I have one more turn. Okay, well, this kind of changes things now. <laughs> what came out? <laughs> Board um, game spend, yeah, these tiles are so amazing. I've been showing them off all day, game long, and I'll show them off. I'll continue to show them off. Here's the butterfly, or I mean the dragonfly. So they're acrylic tiles, super chunky. Here's the back of it. Um, the art, like the fish, the koi's like embedded, I guess, is or underneath. 
and then the dragonfly's on top, so it's like sort of 3D-ish. If you could tell there. I'll do this. I'll do this green screen again. They, they come out looking like ghosts on the green screen, though, unfortunately. Yeah. But soup. And what we just learned, I thought this was a kick, deluxe Kickstarter. This is the retail version. Um, that, that blew me away, honestly. It's fancy. It's super fancy. Okay, so I'm going to put that there, and I want to put that. This tiles right are acrylic here. with back printing. Yes, there it is. It smells sweet. Hopefully, they're tasty too. These tiles. Are... What? Wait, wait. No, <laughs> I'm, I'm reading all kinds. It sounds tasty. Oh, talking about their the food they're cooking. <laughs> well, please don't lick the tiles. <laughs> yeah, right. The they have Morgan said it's the retail version. Uh, simply amazing. It's got a play mat too. This there's no board. It's a play mat. The acrylic tiles again, totally blown away. Um, yeah, just. Super, super uh, blown away by it. Okay, my final turn. Um, I need the black fish here. There is a crack in this. Oh no. Not the tiles, my, my uh, cup. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna put this fish here and then this feature here. Okay, so that's the end oh, of the game, me... folks, right? Yeah. You good? Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, so now we count, I'm gonna move this. I'm gonna take these, these are all done, so we don't need these. Um, put these away. Um, now for the scoring, I'm just gonna move the scoring here. Okay, here's the score. We just need this part here, the scoreboard. I'll be yellow, or Michelle will be the yellow, and I'll be the black fish for the score. And we'll do Michelle's score first, and then uh, we'll do mine. Uh, so Michelle will be the yellow. And what um, is recommended to do, you start at the top and just go left to right, top to bottom, scoring each feature. Okay, so we'll start with Michelle's. Okay, so here um, it's, I got red flowers and yellow flowers. Okay, so um, this is two, mm -hmm. four, oh. Yeah. Okay, so two, four, six. Okay, so six points. Okay. And that's the one where if it would have been a red and yellow fish, she would have got the three points per fish. I know. In my head, I thought I had one here. Okay. Oh, okay. Um, so my tortuga is five. Tortuga is cinco, so 11. Okay. And then the rock was the baby fish, right? Uh, rock is... Uh, baby koi. Baby yeah. koi, yeah. Okay. So I have one, two, three. Oh, just three on that one. Okay. Three points. Mm -hmm. Okay. Fourteen. Okay, so my red butterfly, so that's all the red koi, right? Yep. So two, four, six. Nice. So 20. Okay, and then this one, has I've got a red, 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 red. Nice. So 12 points. Okay, so 32. Okay, and then this one is surrounded by koi, so that's 10 points. That's right. Yeah, nice. Is that correct? Yeah. 40. Wow. Okay, so here I have this one. Um, only one of them has white on it. Uh, so points. it's just, okay. Oh, I don't get two, four, six, it, it, eight. It's for white, fish oh, that then, have white. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, there's my other frog. Or no, that's my first frog. Mm -hmm. Okay, and the frog is dragonflies. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> just have to say it out loud. Yep. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four, four. Five, six, seven, you, dragonflies. You like those dragonflies. Okay, so seven, fifty-one. Okay, then I have um, butterflies. Mm -hmm. So I'm looking for koi with white on it. So I want to, so that's four points. Anything, uh, that's the row, anything on the column? No. no. Okay, so four, fifty-five. And then rocks, baby koi. Yep. Um, that's one, two, three, four. Fifty-nine. Okay, and then my frog. Um, the frogs are dragonflies. Yep. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so four sixty-four. Okay, and then I have flowers. So um, yellow or black. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I have yellow, yellow and black, yellow and black. Okay, so you okay. get the two points for the yellow black, or actually three points for the yellow black combo. Okay, so this is three, yep. four, five, six, seven, uh -huh. eight, nine. Yep. Okay. So 64 plus nine is 73. Okay, and then my frogo for the dragonflies. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Six. Okay, 79. Well done. 
Oh, and the coins. Oh, coins, yeah. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven coins, so 86. Uh, James says, did you miss the yellow flower? Oh, you know this that one? one. Yeah, I think she did. Thank you, James. I think you did. Because you went from butterfly, and I think you jumped. We jumped to the rocks. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So Thank go ahead. You. Good. Good eye, uh, James. Okay. So, um, so I have two yellows. So that's four. Yep. Four. Right. So yep. So we had eighty-six. Okay. So Michelle has ninety. Oh, I did so much better yesterday. Yeah. yeah Michelle had over a hundred <laughs> yesterday. Uh, thanks, James, for good uh, good looking out. Okay. So Michelle's all scored up. Uh, so you have 90. I'm going to move this just a little over over here so we can get everything here. Okay. I don't know if I can do this. Hope so. Okay. All right, here's my... So I'm the black scoring pe uh, fish. Okay. Uh, so I've got this white flower here. I've got two, four. So four points for the uh, this white flower. Uh, this is white and black. I have one, two, three black and white, so nine points. Okay, so, so how do you do this? Ten. Okay, so. 10 and then 13. 13. Okay, so that's that one. This white, I only have one, two, so four points. One, two, three, four. This one, one, two, three, all white, so 12 points. Ooh, yeah. okay, so, and then another 10, okay. This one rocks, what is it? No, babies, right? One, two, three, four, five babies, so five points. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five. Nope, that's four, 34. Oh. Yeah, okay. Uh, uh, just a, a turtle hanging out for five points. Okay, so that's here. Okay, and then the white flower, I have white, 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 but not this is not white, so I get six points for three of those. Okay, so that's... 45. Yep, right? yep. Now the butterfly, this is a row a row and column black uh, black fish. That's how you play Scrabble too, you know that? <laughs> <laughs> Two, four, uh, six, eight, ten points. Okay. Yep. Uh, then this one, the white is one, two, that's it, so four points. Okay. Uh, then this, another black one, we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, so ten. Okay. <laughs> that makes it so much easier. <laughs> right. Uh, the black, oh, so I, I missed out on this, so uh, two, four, six for the black flower, black koi. Okay, so that's um, five. Yep. Okay. And then the statue is covered by four koi, so I get ten points. Okay. And then the black flower, I have one, two, three, four black fish, so I do get the 12. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay, so that's 10, 11, 12. And then finally another black, uh, two, is there a black there? Four. Yeah, it's red and black. Okay, four. Okay, so one, two, three, four. And then coins, uh, one coin, two, three, four, five. Okay, so that goes seven. So you're at 107. Okay, and you had 90. 107 to 90, folks. GG, GG. There it is. Uh, so it's like the opposite of last night. You had the 100 and I had the 90 last night. So I let you win. Thanks for letting me win. <laughs> <laughs> Friends, that is Kohaku. Hey, Bruno's showing up again. Why do I have that? Okay, that's what it is. Tell you what, just for that, we're going to give y'all a extra Bruno treat or trick. Whoop. <laughs> Uh, that's the game, folks. Kohaku from our friends at Gold Seal Games. I want to thank Gold Seal Games and 25th Century Games for hanging out with us tonight. Uh, thank you, Andrew. Thank you, Chad. Uh, I want to thank Amanda for being our awesome chat moderator, keeping things on lockdown here. Uh, friends, I mean, we love this game. It was oh, yeah. instant love. This is, in our family, this is the type of games we really, really enjoy. And again, the production value is just out of this world. Well, even right? just opening the box and not having played it yet mm -hmm. we're like oh look at these tiles <laughs> I, mean, I think we spent a good 20 minutes just going oh look at how pretty this is i know like again i'm uh, oops uh 
I just, I, we can't get over them, how just gorgeous these things are. And again, the camera does, uh, the camera doesn't do them justice. Yeah. To see them in real life is just amazing. Um, but uh, we'll catch up on chat, then we're going to find someone to raid. Uh, thank you all for hanging out. Really appreciate it. Uh, Deadpan, uh, thank you for the well played. I like the dual fish scoring with the flip for 100. Nice touch, absolutely. Uh, I was going to say hi to Nightbot, but. <laughs> I'll say hi to Nightbot. <laughs> yeah. Wannabe Kiwi, I'm glad you were able to see it played. Thank you, friend. Uh, nice. I still don't think I've broken 100 points. And uh, someone said they believe in 21st century games. It's an elegant game, yes, absolutely, 100%. Um, Board Game Feast is late, but no worries, Board Game Feast. We had tacos, and uh, we talked about games and talked about uh, and tacos. played. <laughs> talked about tacos and played uh, Kuhaku. This is a, a Kohaku. This is a wonderful game. Can I imagine a few people would, who would like this game very welcome? Yeah, it is a very welcoming game. Um, I would say it's a gateway, but a little bit more than a gateway because of the different ways you can, can score. score yeah it's um definitely you know you start like i was able to line up a lot of my stuff um in a way that i was able to double score on some of these things um in this game and michelle did the same thing last night uh, again last night you were all about those um was it the it was still the dragonflies oh was it still dragonflies I, okay I, yeah i really don't know why i have an affinity for the dragonflies yeah. i think because they pop maybe yeah yeah maybe that's they're it. kind of they're like on the top layer right right so so you can feel them yeah, yeah, totally. Oh, so good. Uh, the game looked great. Definitely added to my yeah. Definitely added to her wish to expose those butterflies. Did work for me. They did totally. Work and that's for me. what he focused on last night too. Was was the butterflies? And I don't yeah. know. I feel like my brain's just not there yet. Yeah, but again, it's you know I concentrated on the butterflies last night. But you were able to get the ones last night, the dragonflies that worked for your you know setup. Yeah. You know so. Yeah, such a good game, folks. Uh, Michelle also loves the Dragonflies Frog Farm for the win. <laughs> That's the Frog Farm. Uh, folks, that is it. I want to thank you all for hanging out with us. Let's find someone to raid, and please stick around for the raid. We're going to shut things down here, and um, we appreciate you hanging out. I'm going to be back tomorrow. Tomorrow is One Player Wednesday. I'm going to be soloing um, Tiny Epic Galaxies with the Beyond the Black, uh, I think it's called Beyond the Black Expansion. So please join me tomorrow for a great solo game from Gamelin Games. Thank you again, folks. And until then, um, anything we got to say before we get out of here? Yeah. Okay. Enjoy the rest of your Taco Tuesday, friends, and take care. Bye now. Bye.